What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So Ashley and I just made our road trip to Houston. I say road trip, but it's only like three hours. And we're here at the uh, NRG Center. Uh, I got an email for the Dodge Power Party at Barrett Jackson Houston. And we can drive Hellcats on their autocross course. And after being fresh from Wham, I think I'm pretty ready to rip on some Hellcats, especially because they're not mine. So we got our time slot here in 30 minutes. So we're gonna go in there, get checked in and uh, see what it's all about and get situated. So we'll see you there. Woo! <laughs> okay, here you go. All right, first lap, just kind of take it easy, soak it all in, get used to everything. Second lap, we'll uh, we'll pick up the pace and go real quickly. Okay. You can watch him, it's a pretty easy little course. When you finish over here, there's a box with four large cones. Just make sure and stop inside that box. Okay. Go for it. driving laps out on the course. It's pretty tight, but uh, it's my first time actually driving on a little autocross course, so <laughs> I see why Brian likes it so much. Whenever you're ready, stop in that box. Ashley's right on my butt. You hear that? But she's in a wide body charger. So we're going to switch now and I'll, sw I'll switch the camera around so you guys can see the actual course. Here we go. I right, your phone. Okay. Grab your purse. Okay. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, heck yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm there. All right. That was going to be a little different. Hey, you can put your camera up on the dash. Okay. All right. Let's see what. See what we can do in this Hellcat now. There's Ashley in front of me. All right, now I'm in the Challenger Hellcat. Brian's following me in the Charger Hellcat. So let's see how it goes.
was a 26.9. Except him. Yeah. And it's like we had some people here to do racing today. Oh, nice. Look at that. Ready? Number one. And number two, Miss Toronto Racing. There you go. <laughs> my bad. How you feel? Oh my gosh, I feel so alive. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I was missing. <laughs> that was wicked. And the fact that you did so good was a big shock. I can't believe that. Let's put our t shirts in here and look at our videos. All right, guys. So, it wasn't so busy that they shot us up right to the front of the line because there was nobody there. And we did, I did two laps in the Challenger and then Ashley did two laps in the Hellcat Charger wide body. And uh, she was just like tenths of a second, just on my butt, <laughs> like her cheesing. <laughs> so she said she liked the Charger. She would get a Charger over a Challenger. And uh, when we made the switch and I jumped into the Charger wide body, that's when I started gapping you. So, uh, but she did really good. She's in second place and I'm in first place. The win is announced at three. So we're gonna go into Barrett, we're gonna try to go into Barrett Jackson and maybe look at some nice 
show cars because we're not buying anything. <laughs> um, but really, we just want to stick around and see who won. I think it'd be cool. Yeah. To win. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> so, yeah, that was tons of fun, man. Uh, I need me a Hellcat Charger wide body. Alrighty, let's go to Bear Jackson. Let's go. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. So everybody's still very much loading in. Even the Ford booth and stuff isn't done yet. It's just like, it's like day zero of Barrett Jackson. Ooh, Lincoln Continental, love those. They got that SRT10 right there, looks pristine. But everyone's getting ready. They're taking photos, taking the videos of everything going up on the auction block. So as you can see, it stretches all the way that way. So we're just gonna keep walking around and take a look at everything before the main show that we're not gonna be here for. Check out this beauty. Hemi Cuda Shaker Hood. 1970. It says recreation, so I don't know if it's an original Cuda, but if you can tell by the lights and all the shininess, it's gorgeous. Super nice. And then Ashley just pointed out oh, some of the old school Broncos. They got one new Bronco over there. And I think there's another one right there, baby. The red one? Yeah. So I actually want some Bronco, one of the new ones. Let's take a look at these. This one's got like aftermarket seats, lift. Gotta have the hula girl. Gotta have the hula girl. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. This red one looks really sick though. Ooh, Smokey and the Bandit. Bandit style Trans Am. God, there's just cars for miles. Oh yeah, this is really clean. Look at that bumper with the LED lights in it. Got the riveted flares. Man, this is nice. Got some money up in this one. Oh, that's the Tuffy box. That's the box I'm gonna put in the Jeep. This on our console? Yeah. Yeah, same one. Really nice. And then some other secret stuff they got. They got covered here. All right, Let's see what else we can find. After driving one of those wide body charger Hellcats, like, ooh, rev it up, boy. Don't be shy, nobody here. So like, if I were to order a charger, like I would charger extra, extra wide with some extra grip aronis because the change in tires, Compared to the narrow body Hellcat we drove, you can tell the difference, right? Like big difference. And those weren't even like 200 treadwear tires, which is what I use for autocross. Just the fact that it was wider, it gripped up 10 times better. So I would definitely order one of these. Because we could also haul the kids in it, right? We're not just stuck towards, you know, a little back seat. We can put children back there or friends or family, whatever. So I don't know. I know Ashley wants a mom mobile, but I kind of want one of these. <laughs> the dilemma. Bro, this Cuda right here is face down. It's a Cuda killer. And you know the rest. It's a Cuda killer. 525 Hemi, 965 horsepower. Yeah, I mean, look at that rake on that thing, bro. Imagine going through the drive-thru, you gotta turn it off. Thing's got a hammy. Oh, pistol grip shifter. I like it. Me gusta. Oh, time out, ref. Did you see the charger over here? Oh, daggum. They had to jack it up so you can put mirrors underneath it. Let's go check that out. Oh, dude, Omar would flip. At 68 Charger. I think this is his goal. And the same Hurst pistol grip shifter. TMI seats. You're a brave man. That's where you look over here. That's how it goes. Buddy, check it out. Four GTs. 
oh my god i remember when i first saw one of these in daytona and it was the gulf livery colors and i immediately fell in love with it little did i know that they'd become so expensive there's quite a few of them right here and that's the auction block up there all the vips all the vips all the vips ashley's thinking about how much she's gonna bid <laughs> <laughs> what you got i got 500 <laughs> <laughs> one of two. Oh, that's one of two? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you 504. <laughs> that's all I got maxed out. Oh, look at that. Let's see what it says right here. Driver, Sterling Moss, GT350. I mean, it looks like it's been raced. The tires look worn. Looks like you got some rubber checking up on the sides. Paint's not perfect. Got the tow hook. It's a cool looking car. Oh yeah, look at the inside. Look at that vintage style racing. Look at that. Those gauges look so sweet. All old, old school like that. It's dope. Yeah, race car stuff right there. And yep, that's the auction block. Where's the stuff? Carpet. All this will be filled with people and bidders. I mean, you won't even be able to breathe tomorrow. Pretty cool. Everybody's working. Everybody's busting their butts trying to get ready for the show. Dude, this paint is so pretty. Like, you can't even see the body lines on camera. Like, it's so clean. You can see some swirls. I mean, it's an older truck. But yeah, I got the SRT10 Ram. I absolutely love third gen Rams. The prices of these have got shot through the roof. It's pretty funny, like the dad, the interior isn't that much different. <laughs> it does have like a LED display uh, radio, mine is just like knobs. And it's got different bezels and of course, they've got like the little uh, oil pressure gauge from factory. Uh, my silver door panels say Daytona. Uh, but these seats are where it is at. Viper, does that say? 630 horsepower? Maybe it's got some stuff done to it. Pretty funny, I just saw that out of the corner of my eye, but the inside of these wheels actually have a clear coat. And if you don't clean them very much, this is what happens to the inside of them. It's common on the stock SRT10 wheels. Uh, you can tell that that deck lid right there was painted after the truck, so it's much richer in color. A gorgeous truck. I would like a single cab one of these just because of the stick shift. All right, guys. So we just got back from Houston, and we're gonna get the mail. And just to prove you, <laughs> just to prove to you guys how competitive me and Ashley, <laughs> Ashley and I are, we're we're gonna rock paper scissors to see who gets the mail right now. So you ready? I just asked Brian to check it and he said no. And I said, well, you rock, paper, scissors to see who has to check it. I could have probably just said no, but I mean, are right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, so rock, paper, scissors, and then shoot, we do the thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Stop! <laughs> Every time. Oh my God.